Welcome to the Liturgy of the World with Father Evaristus Ege Meyer Abu. Today is Tuesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time Year 2. Today's first reading is so loaded that we can write a whole book from this passage alone. It is not just food for thought, it is a balanced diet, so to say. Jesus also makes us wonder in today's Gospel passage, why did he say that his mother and brothers are those who hear the word of God and keep it? Please stay tuned to the end of this video and share it with your friends to promote God's kingdom worldwide. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, as we study your word today, we beg you to grant us the grace to understand what we read, to believe what we understand, and to practice what we preach. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verses 1 to 6 and verses 10 to 13. Responsorial Psalm comes from Psalm 119 and our gospel passage is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 8 verses 19 to 21. First reading, a reading from the book of Proverbs. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance. But everyone who is hasty comes only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeing vapor and a snare of death. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor finds no mercy in his eyes. When a scoffer is punished, the simple becomes wise. When a wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The righteous observes the house of the wicked. The wicked are cast down to ruin. He who closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself cry out and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide me, Lord. In the path of your commands. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will ponder your wonders. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. I have chosen the way of righteousness, your decrees I have upheld. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Grant me insight that I may keep your law and observe it wholeheartedly. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide me in the path of your commands, for in them is my delight. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, his mother and his brethren came to Jesus, but they could not reach him for the crowd. And he was told, Your mother and your brethren are standing outside, 
desiring to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God and do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus, honor to Mary and Joseph. Today's first reading is a combination of powerful proverbial sayings. Every line of this passage deserves some meditation. For today's reflection, we shall highlight some of these proverbs. All the deeds are right in the sight of the doer, but the Lord weighs the heart. Proverbs 21 verse 2. You cannot always be right. Learn to examine your thoughts with God's words. Read the Bible. Ask yourself, what if I am wrong? Will God approve my plans? To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 3. This reminds us of Saul, the first king of Israel. God instructed him to wage war against the Amalekites and destroy them completely, but Saul disobeyed. No amount of sacrifice is enough to bribe God. Samuel said, Surely to obey is better than to sacrifice, and to heed than the fat of rams. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected you from being king. 1 Samuel Chapter 15, verse 22 to 23. The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to want. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 4. Never be in a rush to make it big. Success takes time. Start small and build gradually. Ritual killings have become so rampant today. Do not sell your soul to the devil for earthly riches. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. Proverbs 21 verse 6 When you tell a lie, you are only taking a loan that you must pay back with interest. And when the time comes for you to pay, you will also lose your reputation which is a priceless treasure that money cannot buy. It is better to lose money now than to lose your good name later. It is better to lose money than to lose your good name. Always say the truth and shame the devil. When a scoffer is punished, the simple are instructed. And when the wise receive knowledge, they increase. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 11. Learn from the mistakes of others. Only a fool desires to repeat the mistakes of others. Read books to increase in wisdom. Reduce your social media consumption. Reduce entertainment and go for wisdom instead. Reduce that which leads to pleasure and go for that which will make you have a better life. If you close your eyes, if you close your ears to the cry of the poor, you will cry out one day and not be heard. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13. This, this particular one is very scary. If you close your ears to the cry of the poor. One day you will cry and nobody will hear you. This is a stark reminder of the consequences of indifference. It echoes the golden rule. So whatever you wish that men will do to you, do so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. You see, no one has it all. No one is absolutely rich. And no one is absolutely poor. Nobody is so poor that is useless to you. No. No matter how poor a person is, he has something that you don't have. And no matter how rich a person is, he lacks 
something that you have in abundance. We are all poor in one way or the other. This is why we need each other. Do you know why God sometimes allows calamity, negative or painful circumstances in our lives? To teach us to be sympathetic to those who are suffering around us. Be a good Samaritan to others if you expect to find a good Samaritan when you need help. When last did you visit the hospital or prison or orphanage or even a busy market just to put smiles on people's faces? Note that I do not refer to making content for social media. If you must help, please do so without your cameras. In today's gospel passage, Jesus says, My mother and my brethren are those who hear the word of God and act on it. Jesus made this statement to teach us the importance of practicing his words. He meant no disrespect whatsoever for Mary his mother. And this is not uh, to be interpreted as a confirmation that Jesus Christ had biological brothers or sisters. Let us, let us not, um, you know, let us not begin to beat around the bush, but let us go straight to the point. The point here is we are the mother, the brother, and the sister of Jesus when we listen to his words and put them to practice. That is the main point of emphasis. Putting the word of God to practice. The Bible is not for entertainment. Don't just hear these words without changing something in you. St. James tells us, Be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if you are hearers of the word and not doers, you are like those who will look at the mirror and after a while, they forget what they look like. James chapter 1, verse, 20, verse 22 to 24. May God bless his words in our hearts. May God give us the grace to practice these words that we have heard today. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen.